13 Investigates is pushing our state's prison system for answers, just as we are learning about a prisoner's death in the Fremont County Jail last June. To date, the Colorado Department of Corrections never released information about the inmate's death while in their custody. Investigative reporter Sean Rice obtained court records that detail the violent assault in length. He joins us in the studio to explain the charges for one inmate following this brutal attack. Sean? And Barton Heather, in newly obtained court records, 31-year-old Ricardo Castro has been charged with first-degree murder and is faking, facing accusations of providing five other inmates with his crutches in prison. Those crutches were then used in a brutal assault turned murder inside the state penitentiary in Fremont County. But questions surrounding why the five other prisoners involved aren't facing murder charges are still going unanswered by our prison officials. July 21st, 2022, a violent day inside the Fremont County Prison. Court records reveal these six men, identified as Ricardo Castro, Miguel Alvarado, Drew Anderson, Enrique Ariano, Dominic Jaramino, and Jody Mobley, allegedly cornered another inmate in a portion of the prison and beat him to death. Arrest records reveal Ricardo Castro provided his crutches, which he was using to recover from knee surgery, which the five other prisoners then used to assault the inmate. Along with using the crutches as a weapon, records detail the prisoners delivered multiple closed fist strikes to the inmate who was struggling to defend himself. Even though this murder happened nearly 11 months ago, Castro was the only person facing charges. When we asked the Department of Corrections why, they declined to comment, citing a, quote, active investigation. A spokesperson did say that Castro was coming up on his mandatory release date, which was set for last week. His release coming after being convicted of five armed robberies in 2013, his sentence totaling 59 years in prison. But Castro was eligible for release on parole in only 10 years of total time served. Neither the public nor the media were even aware that an inmate died in the Department of Corrections custody last June. We asked them why they never released that information in the days, weeks, and even months afterwards. To that question, we didn't receive a reply. Reporting live in the studio, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. All right, Sean, thanks.